All right, we are back, and uh, this is the state of the CPU rigs with the new memory added. I posted a couple shorts today. Uh, I just thought I'd run through the uh, CPUs, what I have. So here's the two memory sticks. Most of these just had, um, can I lighten that up here? Most of these just had one memory stick each. These are DDR4 memory, and uh, this is the Ryzen 9 3900X. I made them vertical. Like I mentioned in another video, made a vertical to help dissipate the heat. Uh, it seems to work. It's dropped kind of the temp like a couple degrees. So any bit helps. I'm not going to mess in Ryzen Master with the voltage and that. That is not, I don't want to burn my house down. So I'm not going to mess with that. Um, this is an MSI motherboard. And I have a SATA drive on it right here. Here's the Kingston 120 gigabiter. Right there, and that has Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10, fine. You can run Ubuntu, Linux if you want, but whatever. This is simple and easy, uh, and I can make I can quickly make a Windows USB boot up drive I need. But again, this is all crap I've had from two years ago. So I am not out of pocket on anything. I'm not buying any new hardware. I'm not on eBay. I'm not on Newegg. Oh God, I hate Newegg. Um, not on what's the other crappy site you buy stuff from? Maybe Amazon. Not fighting you know, trying to find a gouge and or resell GPUs. Um, this is stuff I've had. And uh, so it was easy for me to turn it on, you know, kind of um, scavenge some parts from my GPU rigs. This is where I got the memory sticks. I went to my GPU rigs, took the memory out. And uh, thanks to another uh, a poster, he just said, yeah, add memory, dude. You get better uh, kilo hash. I said, my God, I, 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 Remember people tell me that all along and I just never listened. I saw that today and went, let's just try it. Then I found I had like four memory sticks on my, uh, my old um, uh, GPU rigs, popped those out, plugged them right in, rebooted these guys, and boom, came up and got increased hash rate on oh, NiceHash. NiceHash has a great interface. I'm not, I don't get any money for it, obviously, other than just mining. Uh, makes it easy. You see the temperature, you see the kilo hash, real simple. And they get paid in Bitcoin. That's all I want is Bitcoin. I learned my lesson since 2016 with crypto. Just buy Bitcoin. And I have Litecoin I'm holding on to. I hope that goes up so I can dump that turd and uh, buy Bitcoin with it. Uh, so that's one rig right there. At AMD. And here's my power supply, EVGA 750GS. Again, I've had this crap since, um, since the past two years. So again, I have not bought anything and I will not buy anything because this is a hobby. And from the GPU days, I'm not investing money anymore in this stuff. It's just, again, it's a hobby. There's no way to make life changing money with this. You can get a couple hundred bucks in Bitcoin maybe and that'll go to a billion. Maybe you'll, you'll do all right. Uh, this is the same type of rig setup. Same thing, same motherboard, MSI gaming. It's the um, X470 Gaming Plus Max motherboard i at the time i bought a bunch of these they were not cheap uh, not they were not cheap they were not that expensive probably like 80 bucks if that at the time now they're like a couple hundred bucks i think or they have a 570 out now yeah here's the 570 right blammo i remember i couldn't get the 470s anymore again after the fomo fear of missing out or went out and bought all the damn hardware and it was hard to get anything so that's the problem too i'm glad i have this stuff and i'm running with it and i pretty much have all sata drives right here Kingston's try to keep everything as identical, keep the process simple. So now, like a couple of years, a year and a half later, I've not touched it. You can see all the dust on them. I tried to clean them off, cleaned out the fans, but I've not really, you know, done anything with these. They were just sitting there collecting dust. I was able to fire them up. I was able to uh, make a new bootable drive because I erased one, which my advice is never erase anything. If you have set it up, just buy another disc. Uh, never erase work you've done because to recreate that work it's going to take hours or days so you may not remember what you've done two years ago so yeah just keep things as is so again i do have sata drives this one is kind of cool this one has the built-in see my little finger hello finger this one has the built-in memory drive right there built-in sata drive plug pops right in i thought i experimented with that i think it's really cool i like this approach if I remember, I remember doing this. This is a Kingston stick, and it just pops right in. Ah, I'm trying to get my finger. I want to fry my finger. Here we go. Right here, just pops in, boom, and then you screw it down, and there is your actual drive, your SDD, your drive right there. It's really cool. I like this over this the um. Oh, where is it? The SATA drive, the Kingston right there. 
say that? And I did this near the end, but in hindsight, I would have gotten all these things. And it's just the uh, same thing. You just set it up as a bootable Windows drive. Boom, Windows comes up. You configure it, and you're off to the races. Uh, same thing here. AMD Ryzen 3900X. I love these little bastards. I'm glad I bought them years ago. And then I got the two sticks. Not identical, but hey, it's working, right? So there's that one. This one's the one-off. This is the 3950. Big double fans on it. And I did add um, two sticks to this as well. This is an uh, MPG X570. Oh, it's a Gaming Plus motherboard. These top two are the same. Yeah, these are the top two. Some of these I got the little toggle on for the switch. And it plugs right back in there. See that? The jumper. And if I don't have a jumper one like right here. Let me get my bearings on this puppy. Right here. Ah, right here. Then I just jump these two with a piece of metal. Boom. With a pen or a tweezer or something. Boom. Boots it right up. But I should get switches for them. But again, I don't want to spend any more money on any of this crap. So I am not. Here I got a switch right here. See how it goes? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And with these, I like I said earlier, I took some um, uh, zip ties. And I just made these vertical just for a couple reasons. Heat. Heat will disseminate. It's not, you know, it's not heating up what it was sitting on. And then um, cleanliness. <laughs> Hopefully to keep the dust off, but again, I need to get a can of uh, computer spray, compressed air with no moisture in it to uh, blow out some of these dust bunnies. Better I got in there with some cloths, but it was just time consuming. Got the most of them out, and I want to blow those things out. That's right. No GPUs on these. I am all remote desktop in using Google Remote Desktop to all these puppies. Makes life easier, so I don't have to have a video card on here sucking more memory. So yeah, none of these have GPUs on them. My GPUs are... my Remaining GPUs are sitting down there, stagnant, which is fine. Memory hogs, and they generate too much heat. Uh, here's another 3900, same thing, same setup. This is probably the 470. Blammo, MSI, two sticks. And I, here I had been using the 750 watt hours game. They were cheap. They've been lasting. I mean, these things, they work, right? They're not EVGA, but again, they're a lot, lot, uh, lot less expensive than... Uh, the uh, popular brands. Who cares? It works, right? 750 watt on those. Here's another SATA drive. I mean, S yeah, SDDS SATA drive plugged in there. Power comes out to the uh, power supply. CPU power right here. And motherboard power. I mean, motherboard power. Where's my finger? Motherboard power right there. And then CPU power is, oh my God, right up here. So one, two, three, four plugs. And if I had a... Uh, GPU right here in this PCIe slot, and I would have to use two more cables to power that little bastard. And down here I got a switch. TP-Link switch. Blammo. Everything's hardwired for uh, optimal performance faster. Uh, Cat5 is faster. Cat5 sucks. Whatever. What are we at now? I don't remember what I got. Cat6. It's better than Wi-Fi. You don't want all that Wi-Fi energy going through your body anyway. God knows what it's doing to you. Oh, what else we got? That is pretty much it. This is the one-off. I have no idea why I bought this guy. But anyway, that's probably all I can get my hands on a ton. Again, it's that whole fear of missing out crap. You start going crazy and um, buying stuff you can get your hands on. And you really shouldn't. You should sit back and say, what do you want to do? Is that a hobby? Are you really going to make money? No, you're not going to make money because my electricity cost, it was 18 cents per kilowatt hour. And more recently, like two to three months ago, they actually got rid of that insane adjustment clause. And it is now actually with the uh, any adjustments, it's 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So a little more manageable. So I don't mind doing this. Like I said, GPUs suck a lot more power, a lot, make a lot more heat and a lot more noisy. This is actually doable. It's kind of a fun little thing now. And uh, you just sit back and, oh, wow, you know, hey, I made 50 bucks in a couple days. Woohoo! But it's Bitcoin, so... The idea is I hold. I'm a holder, man. People, oh, you lost value. Man, so what? I'm holding. I'm back up. That's the way it goes, man. The only bad thing is you're not getting dividends. I was getting rewards on freaking Voyager and BlockFi. Got everything out in time. And that was kind of dividends. And you know, made some made some rewards off that. And uh, got, that, got that in Bitcoin. So that's awesome. 
Uh, but yeah, that is so shady now. Not your keys, not your coins. I want you guys to get that mantra or make a t-shirt. Not your keys, not your coins. Because if they go down, and they can lock you out and you will lose everything. Uh, I got it all out. Right now, I bought a couple bucks of crypto through Fidelity. Oh, they have a crypto fund. And it's not much and uh, for me to put in. And I dollar cost average now. And the problem is, it's not your keys, not your coin. It's, they, own, they own the keys. Uh, they own the coins. So, yeah, I just funded them. So, you know, you could lose everything there. But hopefully, Fidelity is not as shitty as Voyager and BlockFi. Yeah, what the hell was going on there? So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, ninety five hundred. Or Jesus, five um, 3900 X's and a 3950. That's all I got. That's all I need, and that's enough. And uh, yeah, the room's cool, not super hot like the old GPU days. And I have some 1660 Ti's left and some couple 3600s. I might sell next year. I like having one or two in case I want to do some uh, flight sim stuff. But again, that's the time suck too. Playing games is the time suck, guys. Don't play games anymore. And that's, I just answered my question. I probably will sell them now. You don't want to waste your time sitting in front of video games. Go out and better yourself. Uh, find ways to make wealth. Go to the gym. Eat better. Get a pilot license. Do something interesting with your life. Uh, just make yourself a better version instead of freaking playing video games. This is just a hobby. This is fun. This takes minimal time. And it's fun making little videos, uh, video, videos about it to just uh, chronolog it. And maybe it helps other people. Yeah, right? Because a lot of people bitch and moan. They comment and post on a YouTube channel. There's a guitar back there. It's a kid's guitar. But uh, they bitch and moan and make these stupid comments on uh, YouTube videos. It's like, well, don't be a douche is number one rule in life. Do not break that. And if you have an opinion, yeah, make a comment. Be respectful. Go make your own video, douche. It's not that easy. You know, it takes time. You got to learn how to edit. You got to learn how to upload. I gave up on editing because, man, some people just post like these on videos on phones and they do fine. Content is king. But yeah, make your own videos. That's all you got to do. And I'll listen to other people's opinion. I learn from other people. My idea is to help the community. Uh, multiple logs, burn brighter. We can all learn from each other. Uh, and it's good technology. It's good stuff to learn. And I mentioned this in another video. You're learning three different concepts here, which can make you a lot of money as a contractor in the software arena because you're learning system admin. Why? Because you're configuring this little bastard right here, your drive with Windows, setting all that shit up, trying to get it working. is not easy because Windows is, is AIDS. It's just, it's just a pain ass to deal with. So that's your system admin. System engineering is organizing all these components, memory, uh, CPU with the right power supply, with the right SDD, with your switches, your profile. Do you want it up and down, you know, vertical or horizontal, your Ethernet setup? That's kind of your system engineering. How do you configure the system? And then you get the software stuff. What's on here? Your batch scripts, um, how you configure and use the applications to mine and stuff like that. You, you can write Python, shell script, uh, bat files, all that good stuff. That's software program. You're learning three different. Um, three different areas of technology stem i mean this this stuff you can put on your resume and just start blasting out to some reputable companies don't go through job boards job boards are horrible they're always 30 days behind with the listings and the jobs are already filled don't ever go through a job board don't use indeed don't use linkedin linkedin is aids they're just selling your information stay off linkedin uh don't use indeed they're woke they're a bad company do not do not use them uh, don't use any job board. Just find the companies. Use AI. Use chat AI. Use uh, Bard. Say, find me the list of companies, small companies that work remote, looking for uh, people that know this technology. You know, make your prompt really detailed, and AI will help you list the companies, their salaries, their higher on bonus, and you can do really well. Instead of sitting in your ass playing video games and trying to make ten bucks a week on crypto when you spend over a thousand bucks on hardware come on that's stupid <laughs> so this is anything this is just a way to better yourself get smarter at the tech and don't uh, maybe you can sell hardware but that's tough too because you're fighting all the uh big guys like new egg amazon buy.com all that crap so anyway the knowledge is king learn how to use it and uh yeah try to get a job you make two hundred thousand bucks a year with a thirty thousand dollar sign on bonus. it's out there guys believe me that's where i came from it exists. You just got to put up with the toxicity sometimes of office life if you have to work in an office. But that's why remote is king. You actually work harder. You perform better when you're working remote. All right. 
I don't know. That's enough rant. I don't want to give you away all my secrets of life. Uh, you know, it's like leading a horse to water. You tell these people these things, but they never, no one ever digests it. Maybe one out of a million. Hey, that guy made a good point. I should follow him and uh, maybe better myself. And uh, yeah, guys, another point, do not get married. In this today's world, in the Western culture, do not get married. It's not worth it. You can date, spin plates, date lots of girls, but just work on bettering yourself, getting in shape. And uh, once you're successful and you're doing well, women come to you, trust me, but then be very careful. It's not a safe environment in the West today. Uh, they could take everything, could ruin your life. You just gotta be careful. It's just sometimes the juice is not worth the squeeze and a lot of dudes are just giving up on it. So just watch that as well. Anyway, a lot of advice here, but again, take it for what it is from an idiot on YouTube. And oh, that's all I got. Um, I'm up to 53 bucks so far on my hash. Ooh, pretty awesome. And my hash rates are about 12 now. Thanks again to the suggestion from one of the uh, commenters to add the memory. Duh. It's like, it's like I couldn't get the car started. Dude, turn the key. I went, it was just right in front of me. I never even... Because I don't know. I just had a brain fart. But that is all I got. If any of this stuff is useful to you guys, hey, man, it's, I do this for free. I'm not getting paid. Uh, what is this thing? YouTube. I'm on YouTube. YouTube and Rumble. Uh, YouTube doesn't pay me anything. Uh, maybe one day. I doubt it. But if you want to buy me a coffee, there's a link in the description below. Just click on that. Buy me a $5 copy or just drop five. That helps a lot, man. And uh, that helps feed my dog. And, you know, he likes to eat. So, anyway. Let's go forth through great things. And uh, I don't know what else to post on this, this crap. I'm just going to let it run for a bit. And uh, see, how, see how we go until it ends. Because it's probably going to end pretty soon. The uh, profitability on CPU mining. And again, because everyone's going to start jumping on it. They're freaking out. They're buying all this hardware. Again, the FOMO crap. Oh my God, I got to go get some eyes and eyes. It's too late, guys. It's already mining right now. And by the time you get set up, it's probably going to drop off. That's my hunch. You never know. That's just my guess. That's... I say that because that's the way it's been in the past. When everybody jumped on Ethermine and tried to start mining, it worked for a few months and then brrr, it kind of came to a screeching halt. It wasn't the same profits as when people didn't really know what was going on yet. You were kind of an early adopter and you were doing well, but then everyone else jumped in and kind of the hash rates dropped and profitability dropped. It's just the same old thing. We're just in a new cycle. Uh, again, the whole bet is dollar cost averaging. Buy Bitcoin, dollar cost average, 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there, over time, and boom, just hold it if you really want to do it. If you have more wealth, you want to grow over the long term, index 500 fund, dollar cost average, reinvest the dividends, compound, boom, 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 10, 20 years, you'll be sitting pretty, trying to pick individual stocks to pay in the ass. Uh, you do the index 500 fund, and uh, they pick them, they have them in their portfolio. Anyway, it's all the ones you buy anyway, Tesla, Microsoft, uh, Apple, yeah, what's the one? Meta. All those are in there anyway. Just look at the portfolio. I pick, I use uh, Fidelity Index 500. Vanguard has one on V, I think VT, they have a VTI one, a VU one. Go look at it. I don't know. That's, my, that's, that's what I do. Not financial advice, but if you listen to me to take a financial advice, yeah, you should not have any money because you'll lose it. <laughs> Just do your own research. All right, I am out, man. 18 minutes. Woo, big daddy. Big daddy. Um, yeah, drop buy me coffee, man. Appreciate it. I do a lot of these videos lately, trying to help others out, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some steam rolling on this channel. All right, take care. I am out.